Hi, Donna Schwartz here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly hold the French horn, either seated or standing. Now, you look at this thing and you think to yourself, well, how am I supposed to hold it? It looks a little tricky, looks a little complicated. That's what I'm here to show you. For any seated position with any instrument, it's really important to have good posture, and that's going to be the key to this video. Whenever you want good posture, the first thing that you always have to remember, you have to pretend like there's a string at the top of your head going to the ceiling. Automatically, that gets your head straight, it gets your shoulders back and relaxed, and you have great posture. Now, the second thing to think about when you're seated is this. A lot of times in band rooms or even at home, we don't have the best chairs to sit in. If you look at this chair, this is, I pulled out my worst chair. Voila, there you go. Um, this is not designed for good posture. This is just designed to fold up and store. So you don't want to rest your back on the back of the chair. This is actually going to cut in your back. It's going to hurt. In fact, you never want to put your back into the back of these chairs because you're going to be slumped over and you're not going to be able to breathe properly. And you will get a back problem if you sit like that continuously. So what I tell all my students, I sit up on the edge of the chair and I keep my feet flat on the floor. Okay. Now, with the French horn, here's the one difference. Uh, with most other instruments, you keep your feet level, feet on the floor. With the French horn, here's the adjustment that I'm going to make. I'm going to put my left foot forward and a little bit more centered. I'm going to put my right foot back just a little bit so that the, my, the tip of my toe is in line with the heel of my left foot. So once forward, once back. But all my feet, both feet, are flat on the floor. So what, left foot's forward, right foot is back. Now, in order to hold the horn in this position, let me get to the hand positions next. For my left hand, this is the only brass instrument where we finger it with our left hand. Everything else is with our right hand. Even the slide and the trombone is with the right hand. So with the left hand, um, this is a single horn, but single or double horn, it doesn't matter. The thumb will rest either in this, this hook or on a double horn, it would rest on the, the trigger or the valve. Your pointer, middle, and ring finger are going to rest on these rotary valves. Your pinky, if it reaches, can fit in the pinky ring or not. That's perfectly fine. I have a lot of students that do this. Just don't wrap your pinky all the way around. It's going to prevent you from fingering properly. So this is your left hand position. Your right hand position is a little interesting. You're probably thinking, oh, I just grasp it like this. No. With your right hand, basically think about someone handing you like a small marble. You would cup your hand like this, okay? So you'd be able to hold that marble. Your fingers are together. They're pointed kind of up, all right? So pretend like you're holding a small marble. Now turn it around. The back part of your hand is going to go inside the bell not too far, maybe like around here, and we're going to put it at the 2 o'clock position. So what's going to happen is your right hand is cupped. It's going to be, it's going to help to hold up the horn. When you're seated, the horn's going to actually rest on your right thigh, but that right hand also still helps to hold it up. So the proper seated position, again, left foot forward, right foot back a little bit, the toes are aligned with the left heel, left hand position, right hand position at 2 o'clock. I rest the horn on my right lap and it kind of comes to me on a diagonal. Now the great thing, I put it up and I bring the horn to me. I don't go to the horn. If the horn's over here, I don't go like this. I don't go like this. I don't go like this. <laughs> okay, as silly as that looks, I bring the horn to me, to my good posture which is the string to the ceiling, shoulders back and relaxed, elbow pointed down, okay, right hand cup position. This is the proper posture. Now I find for some of my students, this thing is big, okay? Um, so what happens is they put it up and it comes to here, the mouthpiece, <laughs> or it comes to their nose or their forehead. And the last time I checked, you can't really play any notes this way. It actually probably wouldn't sound good, okay? So here's the thing. Here's the adjustment that I'm going to show you that will help. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my right leg, I'm going to actually move it back even more to the point where my heel is off the ground, but my toes are still touching. I'm going to move it back as far as I need in order for that mouthpiece to come from my forehead to my mouth. And I'm keeping good posture all the way around. 
Okay, so this is the adjustment. This is the adjustment for students where the horn is too big for them in the beginning. Later on when they get taller, they'll be able to put it up into the proper position. Okay, that's the proper seated position. Now, it's really good to practice standing up also. And for those of you that had to make that adjustment that I just showed you, you may want to practice um, standing more often than not in the beginning. Here's another advantage to practicing while standing up. It's better for your breathing. We all have a tendency when we're seated to kind of slouch, to get a little sloppy. But when you're standing up, there's less of a tendency to do that. So let me show you the proper standing position for the French horn. I'm going to start off with my feet lined up. Now some people can play the French horn with their feet lined up. That's perfectly fine. Um, for me, and for I find for a lot of people, it's better to do this. I'm going to take my left foot, I'm going to place it forward the length of my foot, which isn't very big. Very big. <laughs> Actually, my right toe is in line with my left heel, sort of like when I'm seated. Okay, I've got a little bit of a bend in my knees. That's really important. You don't want to lock your knees out when you're playing. You get unstable. That's not good. So you want to have a little bit of a bend in your knees. Okay, feet are on the floor. I'm thinking about that string. So now I'm thinking about my upper body. I'm thinking about that string going from the top of my head to the ceiling that gets my shoulders back and relaxed. And now I get my left hand position going. I get my right hand cup at 2 o'clock in the bell. Now you see why that right hand position is important because it's helping me to hold the horn up. And I bring the horn to me. And this is the proper standing position. Now, the thing to remember as a beginner, if you start off practicing this way, you're going to want to rest as much as you play. So if you play for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, meaning take it off your face and sit down. Okay, think about the next thing that you're going to play. In fact, as a French horn player, sing it. The key to being a really good French horn player, you need to hear the pitches in your head before you play it. The pitches are very close together on the horn. You have to have a great ear. Okay, so rest as much as you play. So, again, recapping, for the French horn, uh, the one adjustment that we made seated for everybody is to have the left foot forward, the right foot back just a little bit, and the horn is resting on the right thigh, just like this. For those of us where the horn comes up too high, we just put that right foot back, heel up, toes on the ground still, and the horn comes to us. We don't go to the instrument, it comes to us. For standing position, again, very similar. Left foot a little bit forward. The right hand is going to be key, having it in a cup position, holding up the horn and bringing it to us. So hopefully this answered your questions about good posture and holding up the French horn. If you like this video, check out my other videos on my website. Um, I have a section for, for uh, performance performance videos for my band and me playing saxophone with my bands, but I also have some more videos under solutions to common problems. Check those out. If you like my site, sign up and you get some weekly blogs from me and other in interesting information as well. And also, if you like this, tell your friends about it. Have them check it out. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by.